been doing in the world. All your sticks that you were sliding with, they got a big stick for you to hold now. Oh, wait, hold on. I feel a ball coming on. Some. Hey, at Trey Six Hundo, Quentin TV, a five appreciated hood. Okay, okay, okay. Trey Six Hundo, three six double O. Let's go, y'all. Y'all know what's going on, man. Trey 600, three six double O. Trey 600, three six double O. Trey 600, three six double O. Trey 600, yeah. Trey 600 with a nigga. You know what the overseer is? What it was like is what it's slave times, right? For the person that, that, that looked over the I slaves. Just, I, just want, I, just, I just, I just, you know, you know, real niggas that have been to prison and they see old hat like this, they ought to get scared. They ought to get scared, shaking in their boots. Oh, I called you, I called this morning because uh, there's a valuable lesson behind this hat, man. Yeah. Oh, a side of prison that they don't talk about. A side of prison they don't talk about. It's called a field boss. Only all this shit can It's called a field boss. You know what a field boss is, Trey? Nah. A field boss. Is the most dangerous officer that work in the prison. Mm -hmm. A field boss is the most feared officer working in the prison. Uh, a field boss is the one. Have you ever seen a, a horse, a wild horse, when they go get a wild horse and, and bring mm -hmm. it in and somebody got to get on it to break him? Mm -hmm. Okay, 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 okay. That's a field boss. Oh. Uh, their job is to get the niggas in and break them. Hello. Yeah. Uh, a field boss is uh, the motherfucker that made Kuta Kinte say that uh, he was Toby. Yeah. I'm going to let y'all soak in that for a minute. If anybody want to know what a field boss is, field boss is a is a um. A real feared man in prison. Uh, they call them overseers. Back in the days, they used to ride around with whips. Whips on their shoulder. You know, a nigga get out of line. And psh, nigga get over there and pick that cotton and get that down. Uh, I'm glad I got that old rusty voice today because I want to sound just like one of them old field bosses. Yeah. To let, to let the black folks know Listening to all these game banging stories, fuck listening to all these um um tales from the day room, tales from the wreck yard, um tales from anything. If they're not talking about these niggas here, see this is the part that they don't tell you about. When they get down there, they got to get broke. Yeah, they didn't tell y'all. Everybody having fun with their game banging stories. Everybody having fun with their wreck yard stories. Everybody having fun with saying who ran this and who ran that. This who ran everything. Right. The most the most feared person in prison was the man that wore the hat that looked like this. You can say, I know y'all looking at me like they wear them type of hats down there. Yes. Uh, if anybody would do me a favor that's really um, into Trey 600, if you watch this video, go look up 12 Year Slave. Mm -hmm. uh, you familiar with the movie, mm -hmm. Trey? Appreciate you. It's ought to be easy then. Uh, matter of fact, let's make it easy for everybody. Django. 
But that work. You remember? You remember how the um the lady broke the eggs and, and, and she hung him up there to whip him just because she broke the egg. She he was feeling and then you got one of them with his Bible on his chest and he just popping them. And you know, um you got one that on Django that um you know the way he looked at um um old Jamie Foxx and he did his head like this. He said, um Oh, I'm going to go singing in the rain with you, boy. Yeah, I'm going to have a sing. I'm going to go singing in the rain with you. I'm going to yeah. hold your hand. Remember that? Remember him? Uh, one of the most dangerous men on the movie when it came down to the slaves. 12 Years Slave. Uh, that was a heartbreaking movie, too, but the guy that uh, kept raping the black girl the overseer over that movie. Uh -huh. um, why am I bringing these people up? Because them are the guys y'all need to pay attention to. I'm letting everybody know, don't go to prison, man. See these ads right here? They're not talking to y'all about it. They're not telling you about the overseers. They ain't telling you about the field bosses. Um, they don't got whips. No more. Guess, ask me what they got, Trey. What, what they got? Berettas and clips. No whips. Berettas and clips. The Berettas and clips now. Bar. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a different story. <coughs> it's a different story. Um. Everybody's talking about going to prison, but they ain't telling the real stories. Um, they're not talking about how you got to get up in the morning and go to work and be a field nigga for real. All you, all you nice, all you nigga with them nice pedicure hands and sitting in the mall getting your back massaged and um sitting there with your hand under the incubator, drying your mother nails off, and they gonna turn them little old soft hands you got by the time you come home. I don't feel like a pair of leather gloves on that side of your hand. Your hand gonna be so full of say they don't talk about how niggas fall out breaking and crying every day in the field saying that I can't work no more, I can't take it no more. Every day. They don't talk about how they put you in the back of a little packet wagon whenever you decide to say you don't want to work no more. Um <clears throat> there's a motto in this world, Tracy Sundo. And I'm pretty sure that you was raised under the same law. In which I don't know, this law applies in prison. I'm going to give you half of it, you finish the rest. You hear me? If you don't work, you don't eat. Up! Stay right there. Stay right there. Uh -huh. That rule still applies in prison. Uh, that rule still, they don't tell you how they get them young boys down there and, and, and slap the dog. These hat, these right here, the ones that wear these hats, their job is to break the inmate when he gets there. Not be your friend, not be your homeboy. Um, they don't work at the prison on the block. Open up, they don't do that. <clears throat> these guys here only come in the mornings. Every morning you see a house, and, and guess what they were? They were boots with spurs on the back of them. Yeah. yeah. You can hear them walking down the hallways. Clean, 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 clean. Oh, shit. Them, them field bosses out there. It's not a nigga in prison ain't scared of a field boss. It's not a nigga in prison ain't going to have to see a field boss. It's not a nigga in a prison going to disrespect a field boss. He might, he might disrespect all these other officers running around here in uniform, but he is not, believe me, not going to buck a field boss. Right. They don't tell y'all that. I'm not going to buck a field boss. 
Mm-hmm. I've been, hey, I'm not, I'm not crazy. I'm sane. <laughs> I ain't, nah, now nah, I don't give a what type of medicine you on, what type of mind optical chemical you on that day. Uh, and guess what? They don't give a either. You better act like you got some guy, boy. You hear what I said? Let me say it again. You better act like you got some sense, boy. Boy. Yeah, I know. I know. You get your guys over there and go work. Yeah, you better not move your lip or nothing. Come here. Come here. You got something to say? Nigga, that's how quick they is. Yeah. Yeah. Get down there and get tough. They, they don't tell y'all that part. They don't tell y'all how them white men get them down there and treat them like real slaves. I'm not going to say niggas because the Mexicans and the white boys get the same motherfucking white slavery. Oh, oh. Um, if a nigga talk about this a little bit more, maybe a little more justice will be done. Oh, um, fuck, fuck being scared of a gang in prison. Fuck that shit, niggas. If you get in there and be scared, be going there and be a man. If you get yourself in trouble like a man, go in there and be a man. That's all I can tell niggas. You know, you know, if you can't tell you nothing out here, uh, maybe you can get somewhere where they can tell you something, get help you out. Because guess what? These heads right here don't mind helping you out, boy. Matter of fact, they gonna help you. You gonna help your guy, or they gonna help themselves? Right. To your, <laughs> to your, I'm gonna help you out. And guess what? When one jump, fear bosses are the most feared. They get you by yourself and beat you up. <laughs> what? What? The, the the lieutenants, the captains, and everything else don't with the fear. The over. Let me tell you the word for these guys. The overseers. Let's let's use let's use a little slave term name that they not telling y'all about. Everybody talking about gang banging. Everybody talking about who ran this, who ran that. Ain't nobody run a motherfucking thing on now plantation but they fucking mouth. But this right here, this head here, this the best thing you ever want to see in the when they do this. Ask me what that means. Yeah, what that mean? That mean it's hat time. We take his hat off and wait. That's hat time. Hat time mean work is over today. We can take it in and have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> um, you got some bosses that work in them fields that's off on the weekends. But just because somebody was talking Cause you know, um, when you in prison, every everybody ain't gonna comply. That's what they in prison for, um, zero tolerance on behavior. So when they get in prison, nothing changes until something changes in their life. You did, um, but until that something change, um, let me give you a couple of guidelines. Disrespect is always due from a nigga that don't make change. He don't know how to respect nothing. But the first thing these people are gonna do. Is um, they're not gonna get your respect. They are gonna earn your respect. <laughs> gonna be a whole different story. It's gonna be a whole different. Say Trey, I'm saying this to calm as I can because it's a scary story, bro. It's a scary story. What happens to people that don't want to mind and work in the fields? Don't got the body for it. Mother never lift a hammer in the world. After working like a mother slave. No, when I say slave, I'm not talking about man. <laughs> you know what? I wish they could have some film or audio, you know, where they can record people that couldn't make it in the fields. Right. Um, when I well, when I was going to the fields, it got so serious. Um when you got that one AP, um, you know what that mean? 
Uh-huh. That means one Aggie, please. One AP. <laughs> Some people go in there, they get their jobs, and they come out, they look at their piece of paper, and they say, where you working at? And the guy walk up with his paper and say, um, oh, mine says K-I-C. Oh, you in the kitchen. Mine say L-O-N. You in the laundry. Mine say 1-A-P-O. O. That stands for one Aggie, please. Uh-huh. Please. One Aggie, please. Have you have you ever worked that side in the, in, the, in the garden? You be like, yeah, you know that little thing that you do what y'all call a grubbing hoe? Yeah, well, that's called an Aggie down here. Oh, um, you just earned you a one AP, one Aggie, please. That mean, um, you are for sure a field nigga now. It's time to slave. Um, all they cool been doing in the world, all your sticks that you were sliding with, they got a big stick for you to hold now. Oh, wait, hold on. I feel a ball coming on some world. Because I know you niggas like grabbing them, them wooden glocks with it made of steel. But that's what they got, nigga, wooden stick. And at the end, it's made of steel. <laughs> yeah. And at the end, I know it. And, the end, and guess what, nigga? You can do all the hammering and hitting and, and drills you want with it. Hold on, though. Make sure you stay in cadence. <laughs> they, didn't tell, they didn't tell you, nigga, you can't get out of beat. We don't give, if you're Mexican white boy with no guy with them, you're going to learn how to one and a two and three and a four step. One and a two and a three and a step one. You can sound like a whole slave ship coming down the street. Jenny. You be looking around like, man, is that real? You black right. So get the singing, nigga. Get the humming. And most of all, since you got that stick in your hand, get the drumming. <laughs> Come on, quit playing with us. Okay, okay, okay. Trey Six Hundo. Three six double oh. Let's go, y'all. Y'all know what's going on, man. We need that drop, man. We trying to get at twenty five k, y'all. We 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 trying to push before this year. We trying to reach, you know, reach our quarter at twenty five k. We gonna get y'all the best, man. Uh, right. all the best. We coming at y'all like this every week, so y'all can't uh be behind or be misled. Goddamn me, uh. Only thing on here is good food, man. We feed, man. We trying to get uh food for thought, man. Is this not why you are here? 